you can. Since we're on the topic of, of Ukraine energy, I think it's a good way for us to segue into Burisma, which I assume both of you are familiar with. You've heard about it for many, many years. Um, you're on the ground there now, uh, Mr. Holmes. I know you weren't there but at the time, but in September 2015, uh, then ambassador to Ukraine, Jeffrey Pyatt, Obama appointed career ambassador. I'm sure you know him. I do. Credible? Yes. Successful uh, ambassador, I'm sure. Uh, he called for a, an investigation into Sloseski, the owner of Burisma, President Burisma. Are you familiar with that? Yes. Okay. Did you know about Deputy Assistant Secretary of State Kent's concerns about the potential conflict of interest with Hunter Biden sitting on the board of Burisma? Uh, I would defer to George Kent, who was involved at the time and is an expert on those issues. As you know, that the financial records show that this Ukrainian natural gas company, Burisma, routed more than $3 million to the American accounts of Hunter Biden. I've heard that. Did you, were you familiar with that, Dr. Hill? Only from newspaper reports. Okay. Did you know that Burisma's American, and this is back to you, sure. Mr. Holmes. Uh, did you know that Burisma's American legal representatives met with Ukrainian officials just days after the vice president forced the firing of the country's chief prosecutor? No. Did you know that Burisma's American lawyers tried to secure a meeting with the new state prosecutor the same day the predecessor, Victor Shokin's, Shokin's firing was announced? No. Did you know that Joe Biden called Ukrainian President Porchenko at least three times in February 2016? shortly after the president and owner of Burisma's home was raided on February 2nd by the state prosecutor's office? No. Did you know that Devin Archer and Hunter Biden reached out to the Deputy Secretary of State Tony Blinken shortly after the raid on Burisma? No. So, Dr. Hill, did you know about, uh, I don't want to go through and ask all those questions over I also, again. I also did not know. That's you did correct. not know about I any of those? I did not know, no. Okay. okay. So, you obviously know that the president had concerns about Burisma, had concerns about 2016 election meddling by the Ukrainians. Um, when you were, when you were in there as as the head of the Ukraine right. uh, uh, desk, um, did you ever raise any of these, did you ever brief the president or raise it up to Ambassador Bolton about any concerns through 2017 and 18 that concerned 2016 election meddling or, or Burisma concerns? The whole briefing process didn't really work in the way that um, you're suggesting there. So um, if the president had asked uh, about any of this information, it would have been provided for him. Just to be very clear, Ukraine was not a top foreign policy priority in this period, in the same way that many other issues that we could talk about from Syria to Turkey and others are. So there weren't that frequent briefings on Ukraine. The briefings would take place when there was a scheduled meeting uh, with um, a Ukrainian head of state. Mm -hmm. And as we know, there haven't been too many of those. So just to, but as far as you know, you did no, no briefings, no papers, answered no questions as it relates to the 2016 election or Burisma during your time there? No, no I did not know. Okay, thank you. Mr. Um, Castro. And Dr. Hill, you told us uh, during your deposition that you indeed, uh, um, that there, there are perceived uh, conflict of interest troubles when the child of a government official is involved with, with something that that government official has an official policy role in, correct? I think any family member of any uh, member of the U.S. government, Congress, or the Senate is open to all kinds of questions about optics and uh, of perhaps undue outside influence if they take part in any kind of activity that could be misconstrued as being related to their parent or other family member's work. So as a matter of course, yes, I do think that's the case. Um, getting back to Ambassador Sondland, you testified that 